Hi friends, how are you? Today I'm doing a very highly requested video and it is my full hair care routine, including how I do my kind of like, I guess beachy wave curls that I always have, even though I wash my hair about every five days. We'll get to that later. So I will be running you through what I do before the shower, in the shower, after the shower, drying, styling, all that. And this is the final result. I like to think of it as a very undone, done California West Coast look. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Welcome to my sleepy morning phase. I'm gonna get in the shower in about 30, 45 minutes while I clean up the house and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put a hair mask in my hair. I don't always do this. I do it probably every three times I wash my hair and I wash my hair every four to five days. That's every couple weeks I will do a hair mask. Right now I'm using the DP Hue only because I got it in my FabFitFun box. A lot of times I'll get gifted front hair masks but if I don't have one on hand I will use regular conditioner and just let it sit for a long time or coconut oil. I mix it up all the time. I do like this a lot because it smells really good but I think it's pretty pricey so I probably wouldn't buy it on my own but I will find it and link it down below just in case. So what I do is I actually just in my sink kind of wet at least the ends of my hair. Today is currently Tuesday and I haven't washed my hair since Friday just so you have a general timeline. I'm gonna quickly wet my hair. It is pretty wet and then I just take a big old glob, sometimes two globs, and just it's not pretty. It's not a pretty process at all. I make sure it's really in those ends and then I'm just gonna flip my hair upside down real quick and put it in a real messy bun. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for 30, 45 minutes while I clean up the house. I do have another hair mask I wanna show you though. This is another one that I use a lot. It's Kristen S and it is the Daily Scalp and Hair Mask because you can buy it at Target. It is also pricey. I believe it's cheaper than this one, but this is about 20-ish dollars, which for me is pricey. <laughs> but I like this one a lot just because it's more accessible. There's a Target near everyone. I'm gonna clean the house and I'll be back. Okay, it has been about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and shower. I'm gonna show you the shampoo and conditioner I've been using lately because they were gifted to me. I've been using Cell, the micro stim conditioner and shampoo. I am so mad at how much I love these. I really love these. My hair feels so much healthier when I use them and I'm mad about it because to buy them both together, it's like over $50. So I'm never gonna buy these with my own money. Sorry, Cell, if you're watching this. I love these, I really do. <laughs> Thank you for sending them to me. I'm mad that I love them so much. Um, I will link these down below if you're interested. I'll show you what I used beforehand. I used this Theory brand before Cell because it's a great brand and they always have it at Marshalls on clearance. So I have the Argan Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, completely shower. I shampoo and then I conditioner and I let the conditioner sit for another couple of minutes while I do everything else. So I will meet you back here with some fresh hair. So fresh, so clean. So what I'm gonna do now is I just kind of like gently towel dried my hair. I hate blow dry my hair, I really do. I do it often. Sometimes I let my hair air dry before I curl it, but the results are better when I actually do dry it. So what I'm gonna do is prep my hair and let it air dry while I get my makeup done. And what I use that I have literally been using since middle school is Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I don't think it's necessarily a healthy thing. I wouldn't be surprised if the main ingredient is like silicone. Yeah, a lot of things I can't say. This is definitely not natural at all, but I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm telling you what I genuinely do every day. Uh, this, I have noticed, does help my hair not get frizzy when I blow dry it out. So I only really use it when I blow dry my hair. I'm gonna put it in my hair now because I find it like evenly disperses best when my hair is pretty wet. I'm gonna do like three-ish pumps of this. It does smell really good, but it's 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 not that great for you. And I kind of run it through the ends mostly and work my way up towards the root. I'm going to make sure that my part is where I want it. I'm gonna just brush my hair out so that it dries as straight as possible. My hair is naturally wavy. Brushing it helps it dry a little bit straighter. And I'm going to let this partially dry just while I do my makeup so that I don't have to use as much heat on it when I do blow dry my hair. I will be back in just like 20 minutes. My hair will probably look mostly the same within that amount of time and we will dry and style it together. All right, my face is on and my hair is still pretty dang wet. Definitely drier though. So what I do, this is a new hair dryer that I was gifted, it's Blow Pro. It's weird, it has a light on it, like I'll show you. Super weird. So what I do is I first just like flip my head over and do a completely rough dry. I would say I rough dry it about 80%, more than the professionals for sure. But let's be honest, 
I don't have an hour in the morning to do everything. So I do that and I do it on a high heat. I know it's bad. And then I will flip over and just use my little brown brush to try and blow the hairs in the correct direction. Do I do a good job? No. Do I try? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna brush through this before I finish drying it. Some days when I'm in a super rush, it just completely rough dry. I'm just gonna portion off my hair a little. I only do like two or three portions, and I'm sure my technique is probably very incorrect. Actually, I have so many hairstylist friends, I should bring them on and have them properly teach me how to dry and style my hair. Anna, looking at you, you wanna do it? This is the part I get really awkward at. I use this on a lower heat, and I'm just going to brush dry it. First layer done. I always try to run the brush outward. I also do three layers when I curl my hair. We'll get to that in a minute. It is looking dry and healthy. So I'm going to plug in my straightener, let it heat up, and we will curl. Yes, I curl with a straightener. I always burn my fingers on real curlers, which is why I use a straightener. I kind of recently got this Chi. I like some things about it and don't like other things about it. I like the fact that the buttons are inside. I don't accidentally press it when I'm curling my hair. I also like the fact it heats up in like 30 seconds. But the plates, the length of the plates are a lot shorter than my other straightener. So I have trouble curling my hair and keeping them all in between the plates. What I do, is I take my hair in three sections. So I first section off the bottom of my hair, the bottom third or so, and I put the top in a bun. In the bottom section of my hair, I curl away from my face. So I start with a little piece about this big, get a solid clamp, and I curl away from my face, and I pull it through relatively quickly. Don't worry, we're gonna brush through these later. I'm going to repeat about three times on each side. Then I'm going to switch to this side and once again go away from my face. So I'm not going to touch these quite yet. Don't worry, it will end up looking like this. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second layer. And the second layer is a tricky layer because I do the pieces closest to my face away from my face so that it frames nicely. But then I do all the rest of the pieces towards my face. One thing that I've kind of figured out, I don't know if it actually helps or not, but I do bottom layer away, middle layer towards, and top layer mostly away, unless I switch it up one or two curls here or there. And because I noticed that helps my curls not stick together into one mega curl, which happens to a lot of people a lot of the time. So if I switch it up and do some curls in the rotating direction, they don't get stuck together. But I still do this first little piece away from my face, because to me, it always bothers me when curls around your face go towards your face. It like closes you off, kind of. I do this one away, I switch, and I go towards. And now to the other side, first piece away, and other pieces towards. I look like a rag doll. Time to move on to the most important layer, the top layer. It's like a surprise. <laughs> so the top layer I mostly do away from my face, but this time my top layer does feel a little bit thicker, so I might switch it up one or two times and go towards my face as well. Starting with the scariest piece, the more like face framey bangs. We'll come back to that. I always also run my hands around the strand of hair a few times to make sure it's a clean strand, to make sure there aren't like little stragglers, you know what I mean? I'm gonna switch things up and do this one towards my face. Now I'm going to just check in the back and see if there are any straight pieces. Looks pretty good. Obviously this is real curly, but I'm going to hairspray it and let it set a little and then brush it through. This is another thing that I use and just because I've used it my whole life. It's the Garnier Fructic Style Sleek and Shine Hairspray. I love the way it smells and it's not too tough. So I'm going to give this a quick spray. I look wild. After, I'm gonna make sure everything feels cool. Yeah, okay, everything feels set and cool. I'm going to undo all that hard work and brush it through. 
Now this is the important part. <laughs> Growing up in Texas and then living in California, one thing that I've noticed that is really different between the South and the West Coast is what you do with the ends of your curls. So in the South, people like to leave their hair kind of like this, like very curly. On the West Coast in California, people like more like relaxed, beachy. So now all this hard work, we're gonna undo it quite a bit. So I prefer to straighten my ends just because that looks more effortless and more beachy and more natural. What I'm gonna do is go back through and mostly focus on the ends and straighten them out. I know it sounds crazy. It's also bad for your hair because all that additional heat. Also these curls are a little bit tight today so I'm gonna also go through the curls afterward. I feel like also having straighter ends makes your hair look a little bit healthier because you can see kind of like the blunt cut if you have a fresh haircut, which I just got my haircut last week. I'm feeling fresh. Like this curl is a little wild for me, so I'm gonna go and make it a little less bold. Look at the difference so far between this side, the more like natural beachy side, and this side. <laughs> Sometimes too, I go over and I pull this taut and I just kind of give a few clamps to kind of encourage the curls to relax a little. Another thing I do is I go back over and straighten just the top of my hair. I also feel like it makes it look a little bit healthier and shinier. All right, we're getting there. The next thing I always do, when my hair is clean, I don't like it too clean, so I always add dry shampoo immediately. This is the trick to going so many days without washing your hair. It's nothing revolutionary. I use so much dry shampoo every day. I started off by going, you know, two days without washing my hair. And then after a couple weeks, I could go three days and then four days. And now I'm up to five days. I just do a little bit along the roots in different sections of my hair. This helps give a little bit of body, in my opinion. It also smells great. And I rough that up. And then, as the finishing touch for the ends and for the body of my hair, I use this. This is the Bamboo Smooth Candy Oil Dry Oil Mist by Alterina. I've never actually read the bottle of this. How I bought this is I went to Sephora and I said, I need your best hair oil on the most college friendly budget. And the lady just handed me this and I just walked out of the store. It smells so good, but it is pretty potent. So I just spray a little on my hand like this and just run it through the ends. And that is my finished hair look. Thank you so much for watching y'all. I love you with my whole heart. If you have any other video suggestions, please leave it down in the comments. I have some really good ones coming up. I feel like my list of ideas is kind of getting smaller, which makes me nervous. And you always have the best ideas. So help me out. That would be awesome. Also, if you want to press subscribe and be a part of the family, I would love that so much. I recently found out 59% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Subscribers help me so much be able to hopefully get to quit my restaurant job one day. So it would mean a lot. I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.